Hi, I'm Chino. I started a series where I will be dropshipping every day to raise money, but not for myself, but for others. This is the dropshipping bucket list, where every time I make enough money and reach a goal, I reveal my next plan to use that money for good. Thank you for joining the journey and enjoy. Hey guys, so today is day one of this challenge. If you guys are a new subscriber or an old subscriber, um, welcome. This is the first time ever that I'm recording like just raw footage. Like there's, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put some edits in there, maybe some cuts, maybe some captions, but I'm, I always heavily edit my videos. So this is very different for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and tell me what you think about this. Cause I've been seeing some trends in like long form content instead of just the typical shortcuts a lot of editing but i've never really seen it in the financial niche so you know we're just gonna see where this goes it'll make it more personal you'll get to know me and the type of person i am and i get to know you guys the goal of this challenge was obviously to start drop shipping and start scratching off and revealing those goals to you guys as we make more money i'm excited and um we should get started right but for me, what I recommend doing is actually doing a routine to get in the mindset to drop ship, like, you know, so you can get in the zone, whether it's meditation or reading. But for me, it is exercise. So working out. So I'm going to take you guys with me to the gym. And while I'm on the way there, I'm going to let you guys know how this all got started. And um, yeah, so see you in the car. Okay, guys. Car started. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm sorry, in the winter, sometimes it doesn't. I think we all can relate to that. Dead batteries. Got my water with me. Stay hyd hyd hydrated. Mm. Let's go to the gym. I didn't even heat up my car. Yeah, the car's squeaking. You guys are gonna hear a lot of squeaking. My car is a very A to B type of car. You know, gets the job done. You no, know, who needs a V12? When you got A to B, we'll get there. One day we'll get there. I wanted to talk to you guys about how this challenge kind of came to life. It all happened at work. You know, I still work. I still, um, I still have a part-time job, you know, because I got to make money. Uh, I, I got bills to pay for real. Let me see if I can get it out real quick without crashing my car. Hold on. It all started. Nobody's behind me. <laughs> it all started with this. This right here. This right here is receipt paper. And that is what I wrote down this challenge on. I wanted to come up with a video that, you know, had to do something with that I liked, which is drop shipping and side hustles. But I also wanted to do something that would fulfill me. Because originally, the video idea was $0 to $100,000. That was the original video. And then I thought to myself and I was like, you know, that, that sounds just like any other dropshipping video. That doesn't sound very special. And would it, would it be fulfilling? I mean, hell yeah. I mean, it probably would, you know, money does buy happiness. So I'm not gonna lie. Having a hundred thousand dollars would be amazing. But deep down, I always knew that I wanted to help people. That was, I've been saying that ever since like high school. So that's why I used to also like in, look into like the healthcare and all that, but it really just wasn't my thing. I didn't like to do healthcare. Like I, I like to help people and bless people, but I didn't like healthcare. So what can I do that I like, but also help people at the same time? And that was dropshipping. Except how can I help people dropshipping? By blessing them with the money that I make from dropshipping. And that's, that was the spark. That was the spark I got at work. And I was just, I was standing there while I was checking out people, you know, and I was like, this is my thing. I, I, I make money with side hustles. Sorry, this guy's breaking right for me. I make money with side hustles and I bless, and with the money I make, I give it to people, whether it be random people, my family, you know, I just, just anything, anybody but myself. That was a good, a, a goal. That was a goal that I actually wanted to pursue. Drive me to make as much money as I can drop tripping so that I can reveal you guys these goals that I had written down and, um, you know, make, make uh, the world a little bit better. Anyways, we're going to go to the gym and we're going to get into the mindset to start drop shipping. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So we're at the gym. So we're going to do back 
and bicep today. Some people ask me like, how do you have like the confidence to like go out and like record and like put my camera out and start recording while I work out? And I'm just like, why not, you know? I should go heavier on these. But I'm not trying to make this like a gym vlog or anything like that because this challenge is more about drop shipping, but this is important for drop shipping because you need to get in the mindset to drop ship. So, you know, when you do something like this in your routine, you feel motivated. Um, it makes you more committed. So we're doing some of these right here. This will be the last bicep I show you. I'm gonna go to back. <sighs> I could have hit more. I definitely could have hit more. It's whatever though. But yeah, like I was saying, people ask me like, I've had people ask me like, how do you record in public? I'm just like, who cares? They're not worried about you, you know? They're gonna look at you and they're gonna question what you're doing. But you think they're thinking about you this throughout the day? No. You just gotta do what you gotta do, you know? And um, that's no that. really loud over there it probably is still loud now but yeah this is the last back workout um just gonna do some pull-ups and um yeah and then we'll get home oh my gosh but okay i really went hard okay that's why i can't do a lot i'm really tired um but i'm gonna do like three more of these i'm also encouraging y'all to like go out and drop ship and you know work out with me since this is day one you know you can really do it with me if you wanted to so, you know, if you want to. Oh my God. But uh, just give me two seconds and we'll go back up there. <clears throat> oh man. <laughs> All right guys. So we are back home with some after workout breakfast. Got some rice, eggs. I managed to get the egg in a heart. Not the plan, but I guess I'm just romantic like that. So the plan, the plan for our drop shipping journey. We're gonna go step by step. The first step is finding a product. Now, this is a very important step because if you don't have a good product, everything else is meaningless. Your store can look amazing, your marketing can be great, but if the product just sucks and nobody would ever want it, then it doesn't matter, does it? So I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then we're gonna go straight to looking for the product. See y'all in a bit. All right, guys, so we are now trying to look for a product. So the process is the first thing you have to do is go to a supplier website and find the product that you are going to sell. The one that I personally use is called Zendrop. Out of every supplier website I've looked into, it gives you the best quality for shipping, product and you even get to customize it this this is my go-to and it's also linked down below so if you want to drop ship with me it's linked down below click on that and you can get started we can do this together so all right so if you want to find the product you can go to find products right here and um, they have a list so we got new arrivals right here so we got like clothing rings a freaking apple watch not an apple watch that's not an apple watch stuff for pets but as you can see there are like tons of no way they have poe now give me one second give me one second i'm so pissed off right now hold on <laughs> you gotta be kidding me i have poe we could i was gonna introduce you to him later in the video but he's right here He's right here. I was gonna drop ship him. You know, he kind of got a little bit too popular and there might be a little bit too much competition right now. But if we did drop ship him, we already have the product. So that would be a plus. I'm kind of on the fences about him because you know, there's already too many of them out there. But the fact that he's right here, let me see. So when you click on a product for Zendrop, it's gonna show you the product cost. So how much it costs the product itself to make. And then it's gonna say the shipping, um, it's different between the U.S. and other countries, but you know, this one right here, $5.67. So the total to take this PO and ship it to the person is $7.15, which is 
a really good price. I think I've seen them selling these for like 15 bucks to 20 bucks. I think that's a pretty good range. I'm gonna add it to my products. When you find the product that you want to sell, you are gonna go to my products on the left side and it'll show you all these products that I've actually saved that you might wanna drop ship. Or you're just gonna put it to the side, come back to it, and then you can pick from there. So we're gonna go through this together and try to find the product that we can sell. Oh, before we do this, when we were looking for a product, like they had to have requirements. They have to be easy to advertise. So something that you can easily just take your phone out, record it, and you, have, you can make tons of content on it. There needs to be profit margins. If you're selling Poe and it costs $15 to make it, are you gonna sell it for 30? I don't think anybody would buy this for 30 bucks. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, there's gonna be profit margins. So preferably 2X or above <clears throat> the amount to um, ship it. It could be seasonal. Um, that's something I also look out for. So right now it's colder. So maybe something that like in the winter that would boost sales. Like for example, that heated jacket, like that always goes crazy in the winter because it's useful and um, it warms you up in the winter. It's gotta be useful or a wow factor. So. The product either has to be like useful, like people will be like, oh, that's really useful. I kind of need that. Or the product is like, wow, like that's so something I've never seen before, which is, is basically this, like this is the wow, because this is not useful, but you know, the way they marketed it, it's like, wow, I kind of need one. It's like relatable. So those are the four categories I look for. And so that's what we're gonna look at when we look at these things. So let's check it out. We got this outfit, two finger art glove. What is this? I, I already don't like it. Um, let's see, angel wings, charcoal tooth whitening, whitening strips. Oh, guys, okay, another thing. If you could find something that helps with an insecurity, for example, these whitening strips, people will buy it. Have you seen these, um, these toothbrushes that whiten your teeth or stuff that help with acne? You know, those work really well because people are like, they want that because it's gonna help their, their self-esteem. They help make them feel better about themselves. There's something about insecurity products that just do super well. So the fact that this is here, we're gonna add it to the products. Um, let's see, no pet bowls. Pet, pet products are really good because pet lovers, they just go crazy over these things. But what makes this special? Let's see what makes this special. Um, floating plate, edge strip, and designed of the four corners. Um, are you guys wowed? Do you guys find this useful? It prevents pets' mouths from getting wet and yellowed, ensuring their comfort and hygiene. Okay, so there's something you could do with that. That's the benefit. Prevents pets' mouths from getting wet and yellowed. But I'm gonna stay away from that because if you're gonna make content on this, I need a dog and I don't have a dog. Um, my girlfriend is the, my girlfriend has a dog and I have a cat at my parents' house, but I'm not gonna take this all the time and just go over there and make content come back, you know? So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna stay away from the pets. We have this Smart Try LED makeup mirror. So a big targeting audience is females. This right here, I believe even my girlfriend would buy this. If she's watching this, you know, you know dang well you would. Um, you just gotta find a way to market this in a, in a way that they will actually need it. You would probably need to get influencers female influencers or some female, like probably my girlfriend to make content on this. So it's not gonna be easy to advertise. So I'm kind of stay away from this too. Red light therapy, eye massager. Introducing red light, <laughs> why do I stutter so much? Introducing our red light therapy eye massager, your ticket to delightful blend of relaxation and rejuvenation. So another insecurity thing right here. The, this helps an insecurity removing wrinkles, right? But look at the total cost to ship this to a customer, $20. In return, to make the two times profit margin, you would need to sell this like $40. And if we're focusing on TikTok and Instagram, I don't see, like you kind of want to go for lower ticket items because you know, younger audiences usually um, are on TikTok and Instagram. So you usually want to go for that instead. We'll add it just in case so we change our mind, but um, yeah, got to keep that in mind. Seven in one multifunction pen. Experience the joy of every twist and turn. A steel oh, screwdriver, ruler, a freaking tablet thing. Okay, I see how this is useful. It's very cheap too, but um, 
I don't think anybody would go out of their way to get this. So we're going to stay away from that. What is this? What do we got here? Thermosculpt vacuum wave. Introducing thermoscope vacuum wave where egglets. Um, what is this too? What, what is this? <laughs> is it a coupling device? Okay. I can see how you could market this in a way that's just like so crazy that people would want to get this, but it's also expensive though. Yeah, we're going to stay away from this one. Manicure Master Kit. No. Ageless Beauty Alloy. Leg Pillow Memory. Is this Yee? Is this Drake? Oh my goodness, bro. Okay. We got Drake. Romantic. Oh, the, see, that's that would be cute on Valentine's Day. Um, oh, yeah. When I talk about seasonal, Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, we're really, you really, if you're going to sell anything for Valentine's Day, you want to be like one month in advance at least. So it is kind of getting there. So I don't know. Let's look at it. Yeah, it's just like little decorations and stuff like that. It's kind of like that duck swinging thing that you uh, that went viral on TikTok. It's like you put a duck on the mirror and it just swings while you drive. It's not useful. It's just a wow thing. It's just the way you market that. The hydrogen water. Okay, what's this? Dive into a refreshing experience. Our hydrogen water bottle is not just a container. It's a hydrating venture. Elevate your water drinking routine with a touch of innovation. Does it make the water better? What is this? I am going to have to pass. Okay, so that's page one. Page one of 234 products. As you can tell, there was many products that we can go through. Yeah, but we're going to have to scroll through this and see what we can find. On day one, we're probably not going to be able to choose the product because how important it is. How important it is to find the right product so you're not wasting your time. We're probably just going to keep adding a bunch of products. So I'm going to keep adding them and then I'll, I'll let you know what we find. Look at, look at this one. This is interesting kind of scary looking very unique this is supposed to be a device that you put on your head in your neck it, it makes your face slimmer so like it'll fix your jawline make it more defined and insecurity it's useful again a little bit expensive i think people when it comes to insecurity products it's like people will pay for them like they will they will pay for them i'm adding this one because this is very unique it kind of reminds me of like that that thermal heating pad I'm pretty sure you've seen before. Um, except this is for slimming the face. This one could be good. This one could be good. Um, but yeah, we're on page two right now and we're finding, what are you? Thermical thermos? That, what is that? Oh, it's a freaking water bottle. Nope. Stanley's already got that covered. Posture support. Another insecurity thing that can fix posture. Um, it's cheaper. So this one is good. I like this one. People have insecurities about their posture. Maybe they look like that. Um, pocket power? What is that? Pocket power with keychain. Oh, oh, it's a, it's a for your phone. Ah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a power bank except little. That's kind of cool. That's useful. Something about power banks, like they're too bulky. You know, you can't really bring them anywhere. Like this one is, I'll add that one. Don't even try the sunset lamp. It's too saturated. You could buy it at Walmart. Freaking AirPods? What is that? I had actually looked at some of these before, and this is one of them that I found where it's a clear derm laser pen where you go in there and you like, I guess annihilate your like skin imperfections. This thing's kind of dangerous. I'm not gonna lie. Like it'll, it'll get rid of moles, tattoos. See, I feel like I would get in trouble selling this. Like I would get sued or something, but I mean, it solves an insecurity. So <clears throat> I took a break from the supplier website another method you can use to find products is through the actual tiktok and instagram but i like to go on tiktok and just type in the search bar um amazon finds or tiktok made me buy it um, a lot of people say that but it actually does work and so that's what i'm gonna do there i mean that's what i'm gonna do right now and see what we can find so don't oh okay. <laughs> listen listen jinxie is actually motivational okay don't judge me then I type that in, but listen, he might be crazy. He might be weird, but he is so real and you, you can't tell me otherwise. So if we go in this and we look around, so yeah, you can see what things work. You can look in the comments. It says like, where do I get this? Where can I get this? Interested in buying, how is this possible? When you have an engagement like this, battery able to die? Hold on, let me change the battery real quick. You don't want to just look at the like count and the views you want to look at the engagement because there are cases where tick um, products will go viral like they'll get lots of views but it's not really useful and people don't actually want it 
it's probably because they made the content really weird or it's just like you know like maybe it's controversial yeah you want to look at the engagement more than the views so let's see we're not doing a hand gripper oh let's see Pro controller. Add a little bit of spice. This is for racing. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Genuinely, that's actually pretty cool. Just buy a steering wheel. The controller isn't on. <laughs> okay. I don't know if people actually want this, but not this thing. I've seen too many of those. Attraction products that make you a million dollars. Let's see. The mini printer. The mini printer was good if you were the first one to do it, but now too saturated. Don't tell me that's the only one. Okay. Yeah. Cap. I'm calling cap on that one. Not the blood mat. I already know it's a blood mat. Okay. So the astronaut light, the sunset lamp, they all have something in common. It's more like a, it's a wow thing. And this, this one is pretty cool too. That moon was actually a lot bigger than I thought. If you find a product on TikTok and you want to see, you know, then you're like, how do I actually supply that? Because now you found it, but how do you supply it? You would go to Zendrop and you would just search in like moon lamp, right? And okay, not, not these ones. But sometimes, more than likely it's going to be there, but sometimes it's not going to be there. But what you want to do actually is you want to go to AliExpress 100% it's probably going to be here. If it's not, it's nowhere because it's AliExpress. Moon projector. I probably should have typed in moon projector on, Z on Zendrop, but okay, see, like this one, it's not exactly the same, but as you can see, like you got moon projectors, earth projectors, like different ones. I think this is the one right here. No, that's for a galaxy. Uh, but as you can see, there's a lot of them right here. And what you can actually do with Zendrop is import this product from AliExpress and import it to Zendrop. You can do that through here, AliExpress import. And you're just gonna, you're gonna download it a Chrome extension and it'll tell you the process of doing that. But so really on Zendrop, you can get any product you want. So you're not limited just to the ones that they have. So let's keep looking on TikTok, see what we could find. What is this? See, the type of content that's like this, where it's just like them talking back and forth and nonsense, like it'll get views because people just sit there and watch like what they're saying, but they don't really want it, you know? I already tried the dropship the door thing. It can work, but people don't really want it. Like you can get, I remember I actually watched the video because this guy made a video on it and like he got on like lots of views, but he barely got any sales. And that's what I'm talking about. Don't even try the space ball. Don't even try it. What is this? A vacuum? See, I don't know if you saw the video. I'm not liking that. I don't know if you saw the video. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know if you saw the video where I was rating 100 top shipping products. I've already seen a lot of these. Um, what I would prefer is to go to the actual site and look for products that you haven't seen before that are that go that fit with the criteria that i um told you about yeah so that you could be like the first one to get it or like put it out there you know but um yeah we're done with tiktok oh i forgot i forgot to tell you all about this so on zendrop they actually have something called trendy products and you can look at the trendy products like try speak just speak <laughs> i'm sorry you can look at trendy products so the ones that are selling so you got this coat right here this shark bed i've seen this before Thermal knee massager. It's like good for like Facebook, I'm pretty sure, like older people. Kawaii pencil case. I feel like that would go, that would be good on uh, TikTok. It's cheaper. But can you market this to really stand out? Probably, I probably, I couldn't do it. I don't know. Vintage camera. I swear I bought this at Five Below for my girlfriend. I don't know if you saw that video. It was like my Andrew Tay video. But yeah, let me know if y'all remember that. Waste of money. Barbell pad protector. Come on. Be a man, get some calluses on your skin. You don't need that. Album explosion box. Oh, this is good for Valentine's Day. Yeah, you open it and then all the pictures come out. That would have been, that would have been a pretty good one to sell. You have to sell it for like 25 to $30. I could see that going well. Sometimes I'd be looking at these like products. I'm just like, 
how are these selling? How are these the trending ones? I had marked this wearable turtle thing. I've seen that before. It's kind of like when I sold the shark onesies, this was also like one of those things going on at that moment. See, the problem with also the trendy products, they're already saturated. So that's why they're on here. And the person that's already selling it, the original one selling a lot of them. Yeah, we're gonna look through this and I don't think I see anything. Nah, let's go to, let's go back to my products and let's, let's keep looking. Okay guys, so I was, I was thinking, right? I've been going through all these products, but one thing that really just stuck out to me was this, but I'm not, I'm not drop shipping Poe. I am thinking the way that they marketed Poe in such a relatable type way, I think you could really do that with any plush. I mean, you don't want to just do like any plush. Like if we're looking at this, I went on AliExpress and just typed in plush, right? Like obviously, I don't think you could really do that with like Hello Kitty or like just a regular like plush. Actually, this spider's, this spider's kind of cool too. I found two that caught my eye. So it was this seal right here. You know, like it looks relatable. Like this is like the everyday person right here. This looks like a, the everyday American, but also one that like, I think just, I think this one right here, this little chicken with a knife, I think you could market that in a way that people would buy it. And I have never seen this on TikTok. Like, do you guys, do you guys like see what I'm saying? I've never drop shipped the plush. I've only drop shipped stuff that, well, no, I did drop ship the shark onesies, so it's not useful, but usually I look for something useful. I think it's time to branch out and try something out of this world. I'm thinking we use the same marketing strategies they used for Poe and we implement that in I think I'm gonna go with the chicken with holding the knife. I'm gonna try to link this AliExpress product to Zendrop. I'm going to give you guys an update from there. But yeah, nothing set in stone. I'm starting to have a lot of hope in this one particularly. I think that's gonna do it for day one. Today we got a lot done, you know, finding the product. I think we could really make this happen. Thank you guys for watching. We're gonna see what happens on day two.